to a new video. Firstly, I'm sorry about the dark, dark lighting. It's very dark outside. Um, well, it's been dark outside all day um, because it's, it's been weird. And even at 12 o'clock, people were driving around with the lights on because it's been very, very foggy. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to film in the winter because I don't get home from work until about 6 o'clock. And then obviously then it's completely dark. And I just can't get any lighting right. So, I'm going to do this video a little bit differently. This is going to be the intro. This is going to be my Christmas shopping haul part three and I kind of the only day I'd be able to film it where I had some light would be it's a little time on Thursday but then I'm not too sure so I didn't want to wait all that time to film it and then I really also want to get wrapping so I'm going to film this beginning bit here and then I'm going to do it as I will show you guys the stuff but I will be behind the camera so hopefully you can get a clearer view of everything because I think if I hold it up like this It'll, it'll just be dark and horrible and things. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm ex I feel like there's a lot in this video. I kept thinking, oh, I'm going to make the video, I'm going to make it. And then I have not, obviously. So I, I've accumulated more things than I thought I would. But I'm excited to show you guys. And you all seem to enjoy these videos. So thumbs up if you enjoy the Christmas shopping hauls. I reckon there wouldn't be many more after this. But obviously this is part three. So if you haven't seen part one and two, you can go back and watch them. But now let's head over to the other camera view and check out what things I picked up and for what people and hopefully it'll give you some inspiration for the Christmas shopping season. So yeah, here we go to that other clip which I will film in a moment now. Okay, so I just filmed this whole video of showing the things and the lighting just wasn't very good so I've moved and was going again. So for my mum's birthday I decided to give a bit of a theme. And the first thing I've got here you can see here is 84 Charing Cross Road and then because uh, her birthday is in December, I've got a man called Of Of A. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, and then I've got um, the love song of Miss Queenie Hennessy, and she's read the first one, but I kind of am not too sure she's got the second one. I'm a bit worried about that one. And then I've also got her My Grandmother Sends Her Regards and Apologies by the same author as the one that I couldn't pronounce. Um, but I know that she's looked at this one before and wanted it, but I know that she doesn't have it. Bridget Jones, Mad About the Boy, because um, obviously this is after Bridget Jones' baby, but we've not seen that yet. And then there's two more. Carrying Albert Home, which looked pretty funny. And finally, The Unexpected Inheritance of Inspector Chopra. I would say. Um, yeah, so there's seven books there. I got all these off Amazon um, and I'm kind of going to put them in a box and do like a box of books type of thing. So that'll be cute. So that's for her birthday. Okay, next thing I got for Josh and that is this um, Babyliss for Men hair shaver thing and it's a circular one and it comes with a little little one and this was on sale at Boots for £30, so that was pretty good. I think it was 80 before, so I got this in a good sale before Black Friday. So there's that. And then I also got him, which I mentioned in another video, that I might, a stocking. Uh, and I have actually wrapped some things in here, but I also started to put some things in here, so I'll show them for you. Uh, that I haven't wrapped and haven't shown in a video. So I have this Skull pen, which was from Paper Chase, and I think this was £3. And I really like this, I think it's pretty cool. And I think it's a good stocking stuffer. So there's that. And then I got this Salt and Worth multi tool. And this was actually from Boots in the three presents for two. Three for two? Yeah. And I think it was actually, it might still have a. No, I took the sticker off. Um, it was probably about. I think it was £9. I'm not quite sure, but it does a whole whole list of things you can see all around the edge it shows kind of what it does but I thought it was a pretty cool stocking filler and then we have a Toblerone because who doesn't love Toblerone and there's some more things in here I'm sure these milk things I just thought they looked quite funny so I got those just from a supermarket for a, I think 50p actually and this funny little ruler bookmark I'd use this as a bookmark um, and obviously that has his name and this was a pound they never ever have my name in these things and then there's also this 
um, cinnamon stick hot chocolate which I got from John Lewis for £3 and obviously there's a cinnamon stick and a block of chocolate and you make a cinnamon hot chocolate with it so that's pretty nice. So there's a the little stocking stuff as I need to wrap and then the ones in there I've already shown in a video and wrapped before. Um, and then in speaking of stockings and stuff I also got this sack type of thing to put the other presents that I got for Josh. I've got a thing that I've already got for my mum and it's just I think it was like again like a pound or 50p from somewhere so that's like a little sack thing and then for Graham who's my mum's partner I got him this mug which is a golf stuff mug and it says don't worry tea happy and on the back it's obviously got a little golf picture and it has some um argyle socks kind of type of thing little socks so I thought that was quite cute and that was I think eight pounds from Sainsbury's and they have a few different variations they have bike ones and other type of ones so they are pretty pretty cute for my mum for her birthday I got this Burt's Bees peppermint foot lotion which I'm going to put with the socks that I showed in a, another video and then I've also got her this is for Christmas now these pens these colouring pens got a little bit of it um, I have some of these and she's borrowed them before and really likes them and I'm going to get her a little colouring book or a postcard colouring book as well to go with these that's for Christmas and then oh this was oh this was actually five pounds on Amazon right now and that's a pretty good deal for this size of a Burt's Bees and these were on sale for seven pounds in WH Smith and then I also got her this paper chase bag uh, with this pattern she has quite a few of these and uses them quite a lot I think they're four pounds in paper chase I actually really like these little they're just a little bag but she uses them a lot so I thought she would get a lot of use out of that and that's for Christmas um, and then for my dad I got him this it's a, like a white house bird feeder with a little bottle of port in um, and I got this from John Lewis for £12 but I actually really like it I think it's a pretty good cute um, present and obviously you just hang it and you put bird feed in and my dad really likes gardening and he'll like ports so I thought that is really cute and a weird little combination so I got that for my dad. Okay so I mentioned the 3 for 2 thing earlier from Boots, also in the 3 for 2 I got this for Josh which is a beard kit, um, it's got beard oil, moustache moustache wax, shaving gel, beard shampoo and some scissors, um, I think this was £12 but I thought it was pretty cool because it's obviously got a tin and all the beard bits and bobs and then I also got him I wanted to get somebody else something in the three for two instead of the three things for him but I couldn't find anything for anybody else that was different than what I'd already end up got that I'd got for them so I didn't so also for Josh I got him this um, fat face ocean escape soap gift set and it's got a soap a shower gel and a spray I think I can't quite read it from here but um and it's in like a little present thing I thought that was pretty cute and that was ten pounds so I like I said I got them in the three for two and then the other things that I've got for him were this anime Ruby W R B no W R W B Y volume two um this is actually something that he asked for so I picked that up from Amazon for eleven pounds and then I also got him Attack on Titan, it sounds like it's come out, Attack on Titan PlayStation 4 game and this was £28 on Amazon um, and I know he'd been wanting this game and I kept saying like ugh but so I thought that was a, it was quite a good price because it had gone down quite a bit because um, I only I only bought this the other day actually kind of around the back fire sales again so that is that. Okay so on to the last few things now and all these last things are for Josh who I didn't mention in this video is my boyfriend because people ask me often in videos so I will tell you guys just in case you wanted to know and we're trying to get ideas. So this next thing is the Guinness World Records 2017 Gamers Edition. We actually picked up the Guinness World Records, the standard one, um, recently just to have a read through and we actually spent a lot of time looking through the game pages in that so I thought he'd quite enjoy that. I think I'm going to put that in his stocking if it will fit. I'm now not sure if it will fit. And then I also, oh, that was, I think it was 4 99 on Amazon, it was a pretty good price on Amazon. And I also got this book of Beasts colouring book and I managed to get this on a deal as well for £4.50 on Amazon. But this was a few, it was a little while ago so I'm not sure what it is now. And obviously that's just a colouring book. I think it's actually to do with Fantastic Beasts, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure. But I managed to get a really good price on this and it looked pretty cool so I picked that up. 
Okay, and second to last, I got him this. I think this is actually pretty cool. I'm not sure how to, it's hard to hold actually. Um, this, see it's kind of, I'm holding it wrong for you to see. It's a clear, uh, it's got a piece of silver paper in there, you see. Uh, but it is a clear skull glass and it is glass as well and it has a chili beer in and it is pretty cool and I think you'll really like that and it was £12.50 from Debenhams it's pretty heavy so let me just ah, put that down um, but yeah I think that I really really like that they've got a really nice chili um, section of like hot sauces and, and different things they do have some really cool stuff in Debenhams right now um, and then finally and this is the main present that I got Josh and I did definitely overpay for this because it shouldn't have cost as much as I had to pay for it but it is out of print now and I found it really really hard to find so I got him the Bond 50 Blu-ray collection now obviously this isn't the newest one they have released a new one which um, is cheaper it was about £70 for the Blu-ray um, and it's just nowhere near as nice in my opinion um, I just this I just think is really nice and obviously this actually came out before even Skyfall came out because it doesn't have Skyfall it just says a holder for Skyfall coming in 2013 um, and I paid £120 for this but I felt like it was such a nice set from what I've seen from other people and I just I'd kind of always I've never watched a Bond film and Josh really does enjoy the Bond films he's seen them all and he grew up watching them and you know etc etc and I hadn't seen any he doesn't however own any of the Bond films now because I don't know, he watched them years ago when he was younger and he only recently started collecting films and stuff so I thought this would be a really cool present so yeah but I wish I would have maybe bought it when it was kind of out I think it wouldn't have been much cheaper actually because I think it was about £99 anyway so that's not too bad but like I said the other one it's just like £75 so I'm not sure where this one started out at so yeah Ooh, I'm out of breath now from moving everything around and talking so long but those are the Christmas presents from Christmas Haul 3. Thumbs up if you enjoyed these videos. Let me know down in the comments below if you've had any ideas or inspiration from the videos. And now I've got lots of wrapping to do. So I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already or if you are a newbie. And I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.